For more than two decades, Ram Hoopin was misdiagnosed as being in a vegetative state after a car accident. Then doctors discovered through a brain scan that he was conscious and possessed normal brain function. At first it seemed the 46-year-old Belgian could communicate with tiny movements of his fingers as an aide guided his hand on a keyboard. But experts later disproved that. Doctors say Hoopin has some awareness of self and his surroundings but cannot communicate. Now research suggests that patients once misdiagnosed as unresponsive, like Hoobin, might someday, with the right tools, be able to communicate directly from the brain. Fifty-four apparently unresponsive patients were placed in MRIs and told to visualize different scenes, playing football or walking through the house. In five of the 54 patients, those scenes activated and lit up separate parts of the brain. One patient went on to correctly answer five out of six yes or no questions about his own life by visualizing football to communicate yes or walking through the house for no. Professor Stephen Lorries of the University of Liège in Belgium is one of the researchers. And then we will be asked a question. We're going to concentrate on this area, which is the motor cortex. So to communicate a yes, the trick is imagine doing your favorite sport. You see now clearly 15 seconds later the uh, activation in the motor cortex communicating a yes. Laurie says there will be questions for healthcare when technology is developed to enable patients to communicate. Among them, will such patients ultimately be able to direct their own care or choose to end their lives? It opens a new era where I think we need to prepare what we're going to do with this technology. We can ask big questions here. This will have major medical, ethical and legal impact. Another leading researcher, Dr. Nicholas Schiff of New York's Presbyterian Cornell Weill Medical Center, says the study will lead to more accurate diagnoses, identifying unresponsive patients who have the potential to communicate. Whether they then could harness some sort of communication device and establish systematic communication, whether they could then initiate communication, these are all always unknowns. But we found that when patients can do that, it makes a very big difference for them. And at the moment, I think these are going to be very big healthcare delivery issues. Schiff says the research doesn't apply to people who are brain dead, whose bodies are kept alive by machines, or for those in comas. But the study could offer hope for seemingly unresponsive patients who might one day be able to communicate their thoughts. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.